this whole vision of the bridge came from something that irked me all the time. From the time I got saved up to this point, it's always bothered me that there were certain people that I couldn't take to church because church folk would not understand them. They would say something about their hair. They'd say something about their blue jeans. They'd say something about whatever. And that's just what a lot of church folks do. And I was scared the churches that I went to, I couldn't take them there because I didn't want them to hurt them. And I thought, what's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with that? If I can't take people to my own church, and oh, it bothered me, and I fussed about it. You can ask Murray. I harped on that for years. It ain't right that people do that. They need to be able to come in and, and hear the word of God, and as the word gets in their heart and it starts changing them, they can make better decisions, and all that other stuff will follow that you're so upset about. Amen. Let's just turn them on to the Lord. Let's introduce them to the Holy Spirit. And he will lead and guide them the same way he is us. That's what we need to do. And all my life, the Lord said, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? And I'm telling you, one day I woke up and God said, it's time for you to do something about it. Glory to God. Time for you to quit talking, boy. Come off the road and open a place and call it. He said it would be a living room. And he told me how to do it. He told me to put tables and chairs. And he told me to feed people and give them coffee and a, a soda and let them relax and let them listen to the word of God. God told me to do it this way. And I'm telling you, it made a lot of people mad. But I knew what he was telling me to do. And here we are 10 years later. And there's been hundreds and hundreds of people saved and set free. Y'all, it's just amazing what God's done. And it's him, it's not us. But you need to find out in 2018 what God wants you to do. And I want to help you if I can. If God lays it on my heart, I'll help you. But I need somebody else. To, I want to put, I'll tell you something I've always wanted here is a restaurant. And I want a simple sandwich shop. I've always wanted to do it, and one day I will. Somebody say, one day he will. I want people to come in here during the day and hear Christian music that we play. I want them to come into a Christian atmosphere, bring their computers and do their homework in college and, and have a cup of coffee and we'll fix them a sandwich. I've always wanted to do that. And it would probably pay the $1,200 a month rent on this building. Amen? And I'm getting that ready. I'm just getting a little stuff together, but I ain't going to run it. Somebody's going to come in here that's called to do something like that and they're going to come to me and convince me and I'm going to let them do it. Somebody say Amen because we're only here two days a week. There's five days a week that we're paying for this building and we could do something else here. We want to help people. So convince me that God's called you to do something. Let me hear what you're saying. And then trust me, if God tells me no, I'm going to tell you no, so don't get mad at me. I've made people mad. But I have to hear him. I cannot afford to embark on some journey that God didn't tell me yes about. Because I've messed up before. Somebody say, Eddie's messed up before. I had good intentions and I had a good heart and I was really thinking about it. TV station called us a while back and offered us a really good deal that I ain't supposed to tell nobody because we were on there for over six years and I just felt led to come off and do something else. But they offered me a really good deal. It was, it was amazing, actually. And I've prayed about it and up to this point, I don't feel to do it. And if he changes my mind, I'll be the first one to tell you. God said, let's go. But right now, I don't feel to do it. Amen. So pray about it. If you ask, the Bible says, trust him with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Proverbs 3 and 6 says, if you acknowledge him in all your ways, he will direct your paths. That means if you ask him, God's going to show you what to do. Somebody say amen. So you need to ask him and find out what he wants you to do. Give Jesus a hand, y'all.